Hey everyone, how's it going? So in this video, I will talk about the Handshow new Model 3 Y rear controller. And I am partnering with Automotive Fanatic. So Automotive Fanatic is a YouTube channel run by Peter. If you haven't seen Peter's video, he's been working on Tesla vehicle for quite some time. So check out his channel. Make sure you subscribe, give him the support that he needs. His video is very detailed for DIY. So first we will be installing this by removing the OEM vent cover and vent itself. All you need to do is pry this for yourself when you're sitting in the rear seat. So you just pull it back towards yourself and it will come out, but make sure you don't pull it all the way. There is a wire connection in the back here that powers up your USB. You can disconnect that and now you will be able to remove the vent. It's just a power connection that gives you data port as well as power for your rear passenger. And the vent itself is integrated with this cover. You don't worry, you won't be breaking anything by pulling it straight out. It's held on by a few clips. As you can see here, there's a couple hex screw that you will be removing because you do need to swap this vent between this OEM cover onto the hand show. And this is the OEM vent. To remove the vent, you just remove the two torque screw on top, the T20, and pull it straight out. There is a couple clips on each side, as well as four clips on the bottom. And after you remove the vent, you will see this MCU type of computer chip on the bottom. This controls your USB port for your rear passenger. You do need to transfer this over to the hand show display or rear controller display as well. And you will be needing a Torque T20 to unscrew those two top Torque screws. And then you need a Torque T15, I believe, or T10. So don't quote me in that, but to remove that MCU module. Once you release the vent, you move that over to the hand show cover. As you see there, there is a adapter on top that hit the actual hand show computer chip. So you do want to cut that off. Now don't worry, this top piece does not interfere with anything. It's actually there for no reason. It's just a slot to guide this vent cover on your OEM. Even when you cut this off, it's still functional if you want to revert back to your old cover. Now, all you need to do next is pry open the bottom cover, and this is for the Tesla Model Y. The Model 3 is very similar. You have a smaller cover, but this is the Model Y. You wanna get a pry tool, a plastic pry tool, not a screwdriver, to not damage your trim. And you want to pry it from the bottom and pull it towards yourself when you're sitting in the rear seat and it will just pop right open. Once it pops open, now you have access to your OBD connector. This is also known as your canvas connector. So this allows the actual rear controller to have access to the data, uh, whether that is to control your climate or your seat heater for your rear passenger. So you can also use this to control your passenger seat the distant and the reclining. So the simple part here is to run this wire up from the bottom and you don't need anything to fish it up. You just run it straight up with your index finger and your thumb. And the best location to do this is on the left side. So you want to push that up while simultaneously on the top using one of your other arm and your hand to pull it out. So while you're fishing it up from the bottom with whether your left hand or your right hand, use the alternative hand to pull it up. So you do want to pull it up underneath the vent where the air is coming through, and that is it. So that is how you fish the wires through. You don't need to take any additional cover off. Make sure you have the wire either zip tie or if you want to use a quick tie, you can do that and place it underneath so it doesn't rattle around. Although it does have some cloth 
electrical wire wrapping the wire so you won't hear anything anyways now get the hand show display after you transfer over the vent and the actual mcu module which is a one-to-one -one shop and if you have any issue with that make sure you reference other videos which we will link in the description now connect that power adapter that you disconnect originally from the oem cover and once you connect that tuck in the wire and place on this hand show rear controller before you push anything in make sure it works first by plugging it in so on the bottom you want to plug this this obd connector with with the tesla vehicle so you disconnect this blue this is the amd version if you have the intel the color of this plug may be different so you want to plug the male into the female of the hand show so the male of the tesla vehicle into the female adapter so this gives you a u loop and you want to plug the male plug of the tesla vehicle into the female adapter of the hand show connection then from the hand show connection male to female so from blue to white from white to blue and then after you have all the connection in place Go ahead and tuck away the wires so it's clear of the cover when you do place the cover back on so before you place the cover back on we want to make sure the display is working properly before you clean up everything so now back to the display again we did not do anything with the display it automatically turn on so now it's showing a clock so you tap on this it will show you the controller and the controller is basically the climate control, the rear seat, as well as a passenger seat, recline, incline, up and back to make sure you have access to more legroom for your rear passenger, especially if you're sitting on the right hand side of the rear passenger. And then we'll go ahead and secure this hand show rear controller by just pressing it in, make sure all the latch and connection with all the clip are on there firmly so you can give it a good tap make sure your glove box is able to be open and closed so once you confirm all that it is on there for good at least until you swap out for another display so as you can see how easy it is to pop out and, and in it is very simple to install this rear controller especially when you install it without the passenger seat controller but if you need to install that as well, it's also very simple. You just run the wire and we'll show you a separate video in the description. You can also click on that on how to run the wires to control the passenger seat. With this display, it works really well when you don't have gloves on, as you can see there. So without gloves on, it's very punchy and punctual with any touch. So you can see here, you can lock the screen, you can increase and decrease the fan split and you can control the temperature as well as the music media. You can skip, you can turn on your rear seat heater, all on or all off. You can turn on and off each individual seat heater as well. So you can not have to rely on the driver or the front passenger to help you with the rear seat controller. I think this alone is a great opportunity for anyone who wants to be able to allow their rear passenger to control the seat heater. It is something that I think Tesla should have offered from the factory, but unfortunately they didn't. They only recently included in the refresh model X and S. And even then this allows you to control a lot more stuff, including the media, the seat, the seat distance for the passenger, as well as your climate and your temperature in addition you also can control your media for the entire vehicle now some may say that gives the rear passenger too much too much control well you have control of your vehicle if you're the driver so it's just about about making sure that you inform your passenger so this is great for uber driver lyft driver if you're looking to give your rear passenger the ability to turn on and off the vent, this is a great opportunity. Of course, you can lock this screen. There's a button or not a button, a, a touch tap 
where you can actually turn it off completely and just leave it as a clock, as you saw when it first turned on. So if you're interested in this product, check it out, Hand Show. The discount right now is up to 25%, and it's ending in about a week, so make sure you take the opportunity. So this can end up being just slightly over a hundred and something dollars. And I think that alone, you can install this yourself, is a bargain buy. So thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, catch you on next time. And also check out Peter, the automotive fanatic who helped take this video and install this product. So we are happy to share this with y'all and take care. See you in the next video.